what is up today everybody it is me r3d2 and back for i'm back for a new tutorial video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a custom skin for minecraft for free now in one of my recent videos i did show you how to do this it was but that one required an internet connection this time i'm going to show you how to do this without an internet connection okay you do need an internet connection initially but you don't need it to do it later to do this you simply use this link I'll put it in the description click click here to blockbench blockbench is a 3d editor that basically lets you create skins this looks very complicated it is actually ridiculously simple unless you want to do cr stuff like this you can also create 3d models for minecraft mods if you want to use the M creator app which uh, which I'll leave a link to that in the description as well but we're going to but I'm going to show you you are you guys just click this to download it. I already have it downloaded. I'm going to open it. But it's a very very simple texture editor for Minecraft. Now you can still open the web app and do it on the internet, but you can also do it with the app. The app itself, it'll take a second to load, but after you've installed it like you would any other program. I already have a bunch of these I've been working on. There's say I wanted to create a new skin for a player. If you want it, so you can create skins for everything in Minecraft, but let's say a Steve style texture, the big 16 standard layer, yes, the pose, no, layer texture, yeah, confirm. Okay, so this is the, so this is the skin. This is the skin. Now, we're not going to do anything ridiculous, ridiculous, but let's just say that th this is what you wanted. You just use the regular paint tools you have here. Like I wanted to make the eyes like this. Also, you can have layers. There are layers here. So, like, I wanted to disable this, like the hat layer. But I don't particularly care about having a hat layer or not. But if you wanted to customize this like this, then you could do that. You could turn the hat layer on and off, and that goes for everything. But I usually just leave it on and texture over it because it'll make your character a little bigger. But it will also be um doesn't means you don't have to go under it and remove all this because that's a ridiculous that's ridiculous but once you're happy with it you click save you change the name so I'm gonna say Steve and then to it then to install it to install the skin no we just, just cancel this okay to install the skin you have to open Minecraft you have to open Minecraft of course because that's like you just have to. But yeah, once Minecraft is open, you have to go to profile, edit character, and say I wanted to put that skin in here, you would click own, import, choose new skin. Since I was using Skindex for most of my skins, it's in downloads most of it. But we go to desktop and find the skin, choose the size, and there it is. Then it's ready to be used in Minecraft, which, but that's for Bedrock Edition. For Java Edition, you go to the Java Edition launcher. You go to Skins. I have created a crap ton of skins or edited. You click New Skin. You name the skin whatever you want. Uh, Steve, browse. Browse for the skin file. Desktop, find the file save. You save the file, then you just click use whenever you want to, and then that's your skin in Minecraft. I hope this tutorial has helped you guys, and I hope you guys start creating your own custom skins without an internet connection now. Of course, you do need an internet connection to download the game in the first place, but thank you for watching this video.